Hi guys, so I've just received some Faraday material. I haven't received it, I bought it. It is a review, but it's not promoted. It's not sponsored in any way. I've just decided to buy it and review it. Uh, Faraday material is quite an interesting thing. The entire point of Faraday material, boxes, pouches, is to stop signals coming in and out. So in theory, if you put something in a Faraday box, it shouldn't receive any calls. It shouldn't send out any information. If you can hear a background noise, I am sorry, because my daughter sat over there. Um, so it's quite an interesting concept. Obviously the material is just material. Um, and the entire point of that material, it's got copper and I can't remember what other material in it, it woven into it. So it reflects and blocks the signal completely. That's the point. But on the reviews, if you don't mind if you're looking for a pouch, a wallet, a purse, a phone case, a box, a box or material, all the reviews have got very mixed. Some people say it's like paper, some people say it, it's brilliant, it works every time. So I thought the only way to do it is to buy it. So I bought this, it's off Amazon. There should be some information appearing here at some point, sometime. Um, we all know I'm not the most professional reviewer around. But basically it's the Naqui 88 RF shield fabric. RF radiation shield fabric, RF signal blocking material for smart meters. It cost me 15 pounds, it's a meter by a meter. So I'm, I'm expecting that it's going to have to have a few wraps. But if you watch the testing, literally one wrap will work. Now it's interesting to, to look at this. You can't have any holes in it. Even like pin holes from when you sew the seams, it really does need to be folded over before you sew the seams and stuff. And you should use tape to join it because any slight hole, the radiation, the signals can get through. So it's quite important that you block that off and make sure there aren't any weaknesses in the material or the item you're making. For example, if you're making a pouch and you're going to put your phone in it, you don't want something that just shuts over because it's leaving holes. So your ideal want something that wraps over completely, if you know what I mean, both sides fold over. Um, so there we go, we're going to have a look at it. Um, and it'll be very interesting. If you're wondering why people would want this, people often think it's because of the paranoia of the government, the paranoia of 5G is going to fry the brain. And although some people do use it for that because it blocks them signals, it's also for privacy. I mean, freedom and privacy are massive concerns for me. And if you look at the Facebook, are they constantly monitoring you? Twitter, Google, especially Google, especially Facebook. All these companies are surveilling you. And these days with smartphones, you can't take the battery out. So that literally can be, in some cases being found out to be doing, when it's turned off, it's still sending signals to places. With, with a Faraday material box, bag, pouch, it can't do that. So you know you're 100% private, which is ideal. And yeah, all right, it can be abused by criminals, but so can kitchen knives. So can phones as a whole, the internet as a whole. Just because something can be abused by for bad reasons doesn't mean it's a bad thing overall. So we're going to test it out, uh, and I'm, spoiler alert, I absolutely love it. Let's get on, let's test out the Faraday material. Links in the description, guys, check it. Let's nerd it. So this is how it came in its bag. It came from Amazon, I'll drop the link down below. And I should also pop up a screen. And you see, it weren't crinkled when it came. It did come in one of them brown baggies from Amazon. It weren't crinkled, but I have done a video this morning, which I'll put onto this of my phone in it. Now earlier, while it was inside the plastic sheet still, I put my phone inside, wrapped it up, got my missus to phone me, and it didn't go through. I took it out, it went through, put it back in, it didn't go through. Strangely enough, it kept phoning. If she phoned me and then I put it in, it still kept phoning. So that is something I'll have to experiment with a little bit later. I can't remember the size. I think it's a meter by a meter. So it's quite a big, it does feel very metallic. It is metallic, but is how it blocks the signal. So what I'm going to do is going to open it up. Now you just be very careful with Faraday material. If it gets a hole, if it gets a crack, it will leak radiation out. It will leak that information out. So the first thing I'm going to do, as you may see, if you can see on my screen, I know it's got cracks and stuff, if you can see on my screen up here, is it going to focus? Is it? My Bluetooth is connected. <clears throat> so I've pre recorded my voice saying pre recording test, 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 test. 
Now, the reason I've done this mm -hmm. is because I don't want a copyright for any music I could have put on or whatever else. But the point is, my phone is Bluetooth sending the transmission over to my Bluetooth radio. And now we're going to play it on repeat, wrap it up in the Faraday material, and see how long many wraps it takes to cut off the signal. <laughs> This is audio testing, testing, Bluetooth test, 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 test. This is audio testing, testing, Bluetooth. One rap. Maybe one and a half, you could say one and a half. Now let's have a quick look. I'm literally no longer connected to my radio. Um, I'm just trying to reconnect. That is incredible. Now, if you will have seen then, but what I did is I wrapped it up and then I had to press the sides down. As I said before, if there's any cracks, if any holes, the transmission will come out. So we'll try again. <laughs> wow, one wrap. Literally, just one wrap. That is literally just folded over once, look. And cutting it down, holding it off, stops the transmission. All right, so now what we'll do is we'll try again. This is what this is supposed to do. So, so now what we'll do is we'll test it on my watch. Now, on my, my band, if we go down to find device, find device, it instantly finds a device and sets off this tone. So what we're going to do now. Put it in here again. Lock off all the airways. Now this is quite hard because obviously I've only got one. So what I'm going to do is fold it over again, fold it over that way, and just hold it down there. Now what we'll do is we've got my band. More find device. Could not connect to phone. So that's both radio and my I band that can't connect. Turn the Bluetooth off. Next thing, we'll turn the Bluetooth off and we'll go on YouTube. So what I've done now is I've gone to YouTube and found my video. There's no Bluetooth connection to my phone. It is just going to play from my phone speakers. So if we press play. My video is playing. I don't know if you can hear it very well, but I can. So we zoom in a little bit there. And again, we're going to block it off. Still playing. Now the problem is, is videos preload. So it could be quite hard to figure out if it's actually stopped. Still playing. Right, I'm just going to wrap it again. And it stopped. So again, that's the Wi-Fi signal jammed. Oh no, it didn't stop. We lost it. Find a bit that's not loaded. Press play. Right, it stopped again. And it's buffering. It is actually buffering. Right, so we've tested everything, but there's one more thing to test. We've tested Bluetooth, we've tested uh, mobile network, we've tested Wi-Fi. What's the other signal? Of course, it's GPS. Why is that important, Harlet? If you're just stopping Facebook from accessing where you are, because Facebook app could still be sending out requests and say, storing that information and send it back to Facebook later. Or maybe you just don't want your phone to be recording your GPS, because it's that simple. So I've downloaded an app. I've downloaded lots of apps. I've downloaded an app to monitor GPS. I've downloaded an app to record my screen. And because the, the, the material contacts the screen, I've also downloaded an app to lock the screen. 
Yes, it's been a very busy day downloading apps. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk up, put the GPS on, and it didn't have very much signal inside, none at all. Walked outside, it connected, it showed you the signals, you came back in, and it still remained the connection after you came back inside, but it weren't as strong. Then I wrapped it up and went outside, and it's quite interesting what happens after it's been wrapped up. So here's a video, and then after that's finished, we're going to go straight into the bloopers, and that's it for the video. Cheers, guys. As you can see, the signal's really low because I'm inside, but if we walk outside, it does pick up a bit. That's the GPS signal, I think. We come back in, and wrap you up and go back outside. Now you're fully wrapped up, so I'm not sure if you can hear me, but if you can, we're now stood outside. It's going to be quite interesting to see what's happening on the display. Want to go back in? The entire day point of Matari... The entire point of Faraday material box. The entire day point of material. The entire point of Faraday material box. Or material. If you're wondering why people would want this, pri privacy and freedom are massive concerns for me. Doesn't. Doesn't. <laughs> 